I was sent to Tulsa, and I built something. Now, we have some trouble coming our way. They want a piece of my business. We in this together. Tulsa belongs to me now. Oh, great. Buckle up. Here we go. I don't answer to any man. What happened to him? Yeah, he's taking a nap. Hey, yo, Dime Magazine. This is your boy, Lenny. You know what I'm saying? And I want to talk to you guys real quick. You know what I'm saying? About, like, what it means to not give up. You know what I mean? Like, what it means to stay focused when you feel like things ain't going well. You know, different things like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, everyone has a high time or something, whatever it is that you want to call it, right? Like, but I guess, you know, where my thing is, is, is that I want to talk about tonight is what if things are not going so well? You know what I mean? Like, no matter what the situation, you know, uh, family, love, relationships, finances, uh, whatever. You get what I'm saying? Friendships, whatever, right? And things just aren't going as well anymore or as much or maybe you're getting a, uh, a consistency of one of the other in any of them you know what I mean so I wanted to touch bases on that like being able to understand what it means to be able to have the confidence the faith the hope you know what I'm saying? To get you through that, knowing God got your back. I mean, I don't know how many people, I don't know how many of y'all, you know what I'm saying, out there that tune in and listen, believe in God, trust God, has, has one foot in, one foot out with God, you know, whoever's an atheist or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let's just talk about it. You feel me? Like, I really believe that it's situations to where yes we do become we have to build up to it you know what i'm saying and we have to be, we have to be ourselves and we'll put to the test in some way form of fashion right and i guess it's to say like what can we continue to do knowing that god has our back or believing or however you want to choose to flip and bounce it right like okay an atheist will say you know what? I don't believe in God. All right. I believe in myself. I believe in those around me. Cool. Ain't not, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. However, I'm speaking also on, you know, a spiritual form that is overlooking us. You feel me? And I don't, I don't put my faith in my what I believe, you know, my beliefs. I don't put that on other people. I just do my best to continue to share what God continues to tell me to share, whether it's information, knowledge, you know, spirituality, things like that. Because I know a lot of people believe in science and, and a lot of atheists don't believe in God, but they believe in science. And then there's people who are spiritual that believe in science and spirituality right so just putting those two together right but based on what you're going through when things don't go according to your plan you feel me your plan and maybe God's plan who knows you know I just wanted to really like touch bases on some things to say okay you know to ask questions you know like how do you handle it? You know what I mean? Like, how do you handle it? What's your thing behind it? You feel me? Like, how do you get through it? If you don't believe in God, then do you get through it with family? You know what I'm saying? Like, who do you talk to? If you're spiritual, you get with God. At the same time, do you also get with 
you know, someone else that, you know, your mother, your father, your uncle, your brother, your sisters, whoever, you know what I'm saying? Like your friends, whatever, like what helps you to get through it? Do you meditate? Do you, you know, I mean, all the extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's a question. Like, what do you guys do? Now, this is a question for both men and women. Like, through your past experiences to where you are now and helping to whatever you do to get through it, to cope with it and cope, you know, and to get through it. Like, what's your way of getting through it? Is it you? Is it God helping you to get through? Is it the friends? Is it the relatives? Like, who, what is it? You know what I'm saying? I guess the main things are who, what, when, who, what, when, where, and why. You feel me? Like, so I asked the question for a reason because it seems like there's a lot of discrepancy going on. There's a lot of he said, she said, you know, past experiences what we all grew up in understanding and learning this one with that one that one with you know from them these and those however you choose to flip, however y'all choose to flip and bounce it but you know it's to say what is the real dynamic behind when you're not going or you're not having a good day how are you and how do you handle it in which way form of fashion you know, spiritually, non-spiritually, like, you know what I mean? Like, th these are things to think about because everybody has a story. Everybody has a story, right? So I guess is, what's your story? You choose to share, let us know. You feel me? Hit us up. You know what I mean? Dimag.com. It's right there. You sit right there. You know, hit us up, you know, ask us, you know what I'm saying? Let's put your, you know, how you, let's put your feelings in our next article. Let's put it on, on our next podcast. You feel me? We reach a lot of people globally. You see what I'm saying? And yeah, read that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This ain't no shuck and jive magazine. No, no, don't take my word for it. You better ask somebody because we understand what it means to be able to tap into not only people's interests and what they love to do and what they want to do and what they want to become. It's also about, well, at least, you know what I'm saying, what we continue to uh, expose, to continue to project, not, not exploit. We don't do no exploiting. But what we choose and who we choose, especially if it's done on a positive scale, you know, maybe you can be that next one that we expose, that we project, that we put out there and say, hey, take a look at her, take a look at him, take a look at them. Whether it's through, you know, the articles that we feature in love, relationships, family, finances, education. You know, things like that. Like, we love to just project real life. You know what I mean? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? And I believe in really helping people to be able to help people to find themselves. Because it helps me to continue to find myself. If that makes any sense. You know what I mean? And I, I'm serious when I say that. Because when I interview people... It's a whole thing to understand that I'm hearing their story. And like I said, you know, a little while ago, like everybody has, you know, like I said a few minutes ago, everybody has a story. If you want to stand for something greater, you have to run, and jump, fall, and get back up again. To show that when you stand for something, it will stand forever. Gatorade.
Is it in you? And everybody shares their story. It's just to say, okay, who are you sharing your story with? Do you trust them? Some people share their stories with people that they really don't feel like they trust enough of. You know, this, that, and the third. It gets deep, y'all, but Dime Magazine, this is what we do. So, again, this is a question that I ask you guys. You know, tune in, write in, you know what I'm saying? Call in, do all that wonderful stuff, man, so we can continue, y'all, to bridge the gap with understanding when things aren't going so good it's like okay well how would you handle it you know what's your what's your actions how do you handle it do you go pray do you just you know uh sit back and um what's the word uh there's another word for i just said a little while ago but my memory i'm sorry guys I suffer from memory loss, y'all. I'm sorry. But um, I was in a bad car accident. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I speak my truth. But um, getting back to the point, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But, you know, um, it's a thing to say that I understand people's feelings. I understand what people go through. I understand what we all go through you know not just a race but as a whole you see what i'm saying like as a general whole like we all are human at the end of the day but what's going to continue to keep us keeping on whether you believe in god i don't know whether you don't whatever you know whatever the case but again what do you what's your motive you know what i mean like let's talk about it Let's talk about it. Y'all see it right there. Y'all see it right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's all about people understanding what's really going on. Not only in the world or in society. Not not in the world, but yeah, in the world too. But also meaning meaning more what's going on in society. You know what I'm saying? Like to where it's affecting us, whether it's through a car crash that I've been through, a car accident, you know what I'm saying? Um, You know, someone losing their job, you know what I'm saying? Different things of that nature. You know, me having to go through surgery from the car accident and, you know what I'm saying? And all that stuff. And it's a whole thing, I guess, to say that I've been through a lot, you know, having to have surgery from my car accident, having surgery on my neck, you know, having cortisone shot surgeries in my neck, having my surgery on my on my shoulder, you know what I'm saying? And different things of that nature and me suffering from, you know, uh, memory loss, you know brain trauma, traumatic brain injuries, you know, things like that. I speak my truth and I don't have no problem, you know, saying this, you know, and I do my best to, now a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of people that do know, do know this and it's a fact, you know what I'm saying? So I guess with me mentioning this, you know can you know possibly help you guys and anyone out there listening to be able to understand all you guys listening to you know don't be afraid to share your story you know whether you believe in God or you don't you know but what gets you through your tough times right what gets you through your tough times you know hey something to talk about why not you know and um I forgot what I was going to say, but um, my my thing is to you guys is to know that it's all about understanding, I guess, you know, who you are, what you do, and how you handle things through the good, bad, and different. So, you know, just talk about it. You know what I mean? Let it out. Right? Why not? What else is there to do? Let it out. You know? And um, shoot, 
hopefully somebody will, you know what I'm saying, be able to, you know what I mean, do what they do. And maybe I'm sure when you start to take, to share your story, it'll touch some people, God willing, you know, and it is what it is. And I guess it's to say, you know, at the same time that, you know, like, as you're continuing to share your story, right, and vent and whatever else it is, you know what I mean? You're able to touch other people that maybe been through what you've been through, that's gone through what you've gone through and can help you to woo you know what I mean? They can help you to, you know... It's, I guess, like like a monkey off your shoulder, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's a therapist, your psychiatrist, you know, all the things that matter, all the people that really can help you, whether it's them, whether it's family members, whether it's people that you love, that you trust, you know, that really will sit down and listen. Now, one thing that I, I always encounter is, is that a lot of people say they're good listeners, but then they will listen to you a little bit, cut you off, right? And want to talk about them, what they're going through, what they're doing. And that's fine. Okay, cool. It's just, damn, I thought you said you was a good listener. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's many people out there that can vouch for that or whatever. But... um. I, I I forgot what I was gonna say, but um, you know, my whole thing is is I I do my best to do my best to continue to be the person that I am, and to continue to be the person that I am to you guys. You know, giving you guys great content, giving you guys you know whatever it is that I can continue to give you guys to be able to relate to and then share back and share with the rest of the world not just with me but with the rest of the world makes sense and so when I sit back and I think about and I talk about you know different things that matter in life it's like okay who really can understand who really can pick up what I'm putting down? Make sense? So, hey, you know, my thing is, is you know, let's talk about it. Let's, let's let's see what happens. Let's see let's see how everybody's moving. You know what I mean? Like, what else is there to do? You know, write in. You know, call in. You know, all that great stuff. Whatever. You know, and um, it's going to be right there. You know, chime in to us, man. You know, let us know what's going on. You know, um, at the same time, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, I love you guys, all my listeners. You know, share this, you know, this platform. Let us know what's going on. Let me know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And if you could relate, you know, hey, share it. You know, tap in, talk about it, talk to me, share it. You know, do what you do. I would love to hear your feedback. What else is there to fucking do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it's your boy Lenny, man. Yo, we out of here. Dime Magazine.